Hi everyone, as you would have noticed in many of the problems we have considered, we encountered differential equations, ODEs and PDEs. So in this series, which is going to be a collection of short videos, we shall discuss some differential equations. We shall see eventually that there is a close connection between probabilities and partial differential equations and we can thus tackle a lot of analytical and probabilistic problems in two different but equivalent ways via probabilities or via differential equations so it is important stuff. In this particular video we are going to give a rough outline of what to expect in the series essentially the basic concepts, terminology and then the solutions and analysis of some important classes of differential equations and the coverage will be with the view to help towards transition to more advanced models of practical interest. Just to give you a flavor of what to expect and why, let's quickly show some examples. Don't worry if you don't recognize the equations just because we are whizzing through them at high speed by the way. We will cover the key vocabulary and classification such as the different ways the differential equations are represented and the basic concepts such as how to tell between different types of differential equations from easy to involved such as how to differentiate between an ODE and a PDE linear and nonlinear equations and constant coefficients and variable coefficients, differential equations, etc. We will discuss the different types of solutions and this shall include things like does the general solution capture all possible solutions? When would the general solutions contain arbitrary functions as opposed to arbitrary constants that we see in the simple cases? We shall then discuss the various types of initial and boundary conditions. We shall obviously cover some well-studied classes of differential equations such as the first and second order ODEs and the first and second order PDEs and two variables. We will cover the derivation of the main equations within these categories, how these equations arise and then the solution and analysis of these equations. We shall also study some of the special differential equations. Once we have studied the basics, then the aim would be to use this knowledge to tackle the analysis of real life problems, which are usually nonlinear PDEs, don't have analytical solutions, but one tries to use the knowledge gained from the theoretical analysis of the basic ODEs and PDEs to infer the properties of and devise methods for approximating the solutions of these complicated nonlinear PDEs. Now let's quickly see why we need to study differential equations. And let's go back to the basics. We know what a differential equation is, right? An equation that contains a differential. So we have an equation that contains an unknown function and its derivative. Here is an example. Y is the unknown function, X is the independent variable and R is a constant here. This is an example of an ODE and if we have a function of more than one variable then we will have the partial derivatives in the equation as we saw in the Black-Scholes equation and the equation will then be called a partial differential equation. So a differential equation is just an equation that hides the function we are interested in by mixing it with the derivatives. Sounds unnecessarily complicated way to approach things but actually it makes mathematical modeling from a practical perspective a lot easier. This is because it offers a way to describe the state of a process or a system in terms of the rate of change and viewing processes say physical or biological in terms of the rate of change makes the mathematical analysis really easy and a large number of cases of practical interest and that's why people say differential equations are the language of nature when this thought occurred to Newton he had to anagram it demonstrating that he realized that differential equations are going to play an important role in the development of science. And this is what we see. For example, in physics, we see differential equations everywhere. Newton's second law is a prime example. And as we shall see, differential equations make it easy to construct mathematical models of heat conduction, vibrating strings, etc. We all like the weather forecast app, right? 
especially when it forecasts sunshine over the next few days. Behind the forecast is a system of nonlinear partial differential equations. For another example, we know there are quite a few non probability functions, but they amount to only a handful when one considers them in relation to the number of real world problems. But if one is allowed to describe the probability in terms of differential equations, then as we saw in the Kolmogorov videos, one can construct models for a much larger variety of far more complex processes. People from physics or other natural sciences would know these equations as the master equation or Fokker Planck equation, depending on whether the process is discrete or continuous. For another example, we also know that differential equations make it quite easy to model the values of bank account, stocks and options on stocks, and you can imagine that it's the development of these models that led to the explosion of the financial derivatives industry and every sense of the word explosion. And for our final example, we saw in the recent videos how easy it is to model the dynamics of the spread of coronavirus using differential equations. And then in the stochastic version of these models, we saw how to describe the probability of a complicated system in terms of the master equation and the focal planck equation. To summarize then, there is no escape from differential equations, so we better refresh the vocabulary. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next.